Last night, somebody tried stealing my cat. Don't worry, not this cat, my catalytic converter. Whilst I was asleep in my van as well. I'll just quickly run through the scenario that happened. Put her back. early in the morning I was laying in my bed it was around about 4.30 it was, it was pretty much daylight um, and I could hear this kind of squeaking sound from yonder distance it was like a ee, ee, bit like a like a shopping wheel trolley squeaking I thought nothing of it because after all there is a supermarket just down here I was kind of in that that zone of half being asleep, half being awake, answering comments, my eyes were just beginning to focus and I could hear this like chinking sound, like a chain underneath my van. And I thought, that ain't right, there's something, somebody underneath my van. So I jumped out of my bed, opened my door, got on my knees and looked under my van and right opposite me, eye contact with some little whatnot under my van, putting like this chain device around my exhaust pipe. I didn't quite figure it out at first. I was like, what's he doing? So I, by the time I got round to the other side of my van, I remember I'm in me jocks <laughs> and it's, it's pretty much daylight. He's gone, he's scarpered, he's gone across the car park, jumped in a car and drove off. But let me show you what he left behind. So there's the supermarket down there and there's shopping trolleys everywhere. So you can understand my reasoning for thinking that um, it was a shopping trolley wheel squeaking, <laughs> but it wasn't. It was this little whatnot cutting the catalytic converter off of that Jeep. And that Jeep, the catalytic converter's gone. He must have made off with it. But have a look what he left behind underneath my van. I can't believe they actually make these things. Look at that. You can see how it works. It's a chain with these wheels on it, and these wheels look like the wheels you get on a glass cutter. And you simply rock it to and fro, and it cuts through your exhaust. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to cut through my exhaust. And there is my catalytic converter. <laughs> I was so lucky. So look how simple that works. This thing is lethal. Look at this. I'm surprised these are even allowed to be sold. Look at that, what it's done to my exhaust. So right, next thing to do is put something on this bad boy to stop anyone from taking it off my van. These things are lethal, just look at that. I mean, you could have had my cat off in a matter of seconds, literally just, you can see how they work. So after searching the internet like you do, I found this. I found this on eBay, it's called an arm cat, and this is a serious bit of equipment. I'm quite impressed. Let's have a look what's in the box. Now what this does, it's a bit like a bicycle, a bicycle lock. You've got this shield, it's in two parts, there are two bits in there. I'll take it out of the bag in a minute. And then this bad boy goes around your cat basically and wraps around your chassis and stops anyone stealing your cat. And it's not going to stop people cutting the cat off, but they're not going to be able to take your cat away, that's for sure. It also comes with some bolts and some other accessories. So it comes with these shear nuts. What happens is you do the nut up, so this, and this part shears off, leaving this cone on the uh, bolt so nobody can undo it so right I'm fighting the weather again why does it always rain when I want to work outside <laughs> so let's get under the van and get this bad boy fitted to my catalytic converter so no thieving little tow rag can steal my catalytic converter let's get it out of the bag shall we let's have a look so now I've taken it out of the bag we can see how it goes together it simply slots together like this using those uh, special nuts that snap off once you've done them up tight. And then this stainless steel cable will then get bolted on the inside 
each side of that and this gets wrapped around the chassis of the van and that should deter any would-be thief from stealing my catalytic converter now the first thing I've got to do is peel all this plastic off it's got like a plastic protective coating on it and uh, before you put it to the catalytic converter here's one I did earlier <laughs> this one I still need to do it looks pretty good and it's got the uh, logo on there as well now this company armor cat they do make a selection of these for various vehicles they've got a whole array of them different sizes and different shapes so i'll put a link in the description of this video where you can buy one of these to protect your catalytic converter and this isn't a paid promotion i'm just speaking from my own experience that it's really worth getting one of these i mean my catalytic converter and dpf filter are like in excess of 1500 pound and considering this was only 120 pound or 130 yeah, 130 quid it's a drop in the ocean to what it could cost you if you get your cat stolen and uh, I think I'll sleep better at night knowing my catalytic converter is protected right so I'm gonna peel all this off and then get under the van and see how it all bolts together right see how good this fits <laughs> check it actually let's check it fits actually if make sure it's alright yeah, it looks alright. I don't quite know how I'm going to do this. Um, yeah, maybe I'll put these on first. Yeah. It's got a pipe at the top. It's got this, um, there's a pipe at the top here. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll just do it like that. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way to go. Just do it. Alright, that's going to be easiest. Alright. What have we got in here? We've got this rail. I think that rail's a protector. Let's get, the, let's get one in the middle first. I think we'll start by putting one bolt in the middle. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Put that there. Snap off nut in the middle, like that. Yeah, it's got to be the way to do it. Oh, the elbow, the funny bone. Oh, that wasn't funny. It's in the box. This should be pretty straightforward, really. He says. Well, I'm doing it one handed. That's it. Now, this one. Uh, this has got a square collar on this bolt, so that goes through that square hole. That's going to stop. That's going to stop that from turning. And then this collar. It's also difficult doing this and filming it. Goes in there like that. And I'm not again. Now on the instructions it says to do the middle one first. I think for good reasons. Yeah, that's going to be really tight. That is. Yeah. So now I've got to decide where I'm going to put my wire. I've got to put the wire cable around and make sure it doesn't actually interfere with the exhaust. I think it's going to have to go around this or this or maybe both of them. Yep. Try to do this without knocking the camera over. <laughs> Let's get this one done first. Oh, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> So I've got to get that in there with this with this collar. Now this, I've got thread for there as well. Yeah, easier said than done. Uh, this one off. Yeah, that's right on that. Please don't rain. There we go. Oh, there we are. Oh, my arm's not in the way. Can you see what I'm doing? What am I talking to you? What that? Make it hard to me. Right in the cable. It's a bit long, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Gonna thread through there at the front. I'm gonna do it like this. Shit, it's me. 
So I threaded this cable around and down and uh, plastic box there. Hopefully that'll go in there like that. I think if a would-be thief was to look under here and see all this lot, it's definitely gonna put them off trying to nick it. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the sleeve. I forgot this bit. Right side. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, put it on. I think that would have been really fiddly anyway. Try and do that. So there you go kids, don't forget this. We well, reckon a bit of a tangled mess. I mean, people could still get this off. They'd have to undo this nut. They'd have to undo the nut on that chassis as well. They'd have to undo all these nuts to get that off. Um, and I don't think any crook that's, that's going to bother doing that. Oh, let's get me sockets. So I can do them up. Right, so I've done these up now so tight that these end bits have fallen off or come off. You can see they get forced off as you do it up they snap and come off and that's what the end result is you've got these security bolts or nuts security nuts and bolts on there and then the other side as well up across there I think you can see that it's quite dark under there so there is my arm cat guard and as you can see the cable wraps around my chassis and it's all, I've also wrapped it around this bit of chassis as well this chassis rail here so if anybody, anybody wanted to take this off, they'd have to undo that big nut, they'd have to undo the big nuts in there, drop my chassis, <laughs> and to do that they'd have to jack the van up. So it's very unlikely that anyone is going to try and steal my cat, hopefully. Famous last words. Right, let's get out from under here before it rains. Well, I had a quick look on eBay out of interest, and these things are relatively cheap considering how much money those thieving little tow rags can get for your catalytic converter now they only get about 80 quid for your catalytic converter but for you to replace your catalytic converter you're on a sprinter at least i know you're looking at around about 1500 pound for a cat and a dpf filter and i know this because my van has got brand new dpf filter and cat on it well it did have last year and to think that some little tow rag with one of these things could whip that away within a matter of seconds is frightening and that's why i've now got a cat guard on my catalytic converter and i will put a link in the description of this video where you can buy a cat guard for your catalytic converter now, i know that sounds like a bit of an advert but honestly it's not i just want to try and help people parking attendant right i better wrap this video up so if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up and don't forget if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing and by subscribing to my channel you help me feed a cat i've got two and they're both hungry thanks for watching so now so this is what them snap off nets look like Ugh. These are called shear bolts. So once you do them up, the actual head of the bolt comes off, leaving this cone on the actual bolt itself. So these nuts are called shear nuts. They're not shear bolts, it's a nut.